Okay, so this video is a little bit different than how I normally post on YouTube. Normally there's like a camera, I do editing, it's a whole big thing. Right now I'm just recording from my phone. It's, I just had to get something off my, something was sitting on my spirit. I had to get it up off my chest. So I watched this movie called I Care A Lot on Netflix. And if you have not seen it because you don't have $8.99 or because it's 2021 and I don't know, you don't got Wi-Fi or something. I don't, I don't know what your situation is why you don't have Netflix. Um... So I watched it because it said it was number one in the U.S. And all I could think is that the peop other people who have watched it, because I posted on Facebook, should I watch this movie? About 10 minutes in, I could tell it was it was upsetting me because I'm very sensitive to other people's suffering. So I was like, to my Facebook friends, like, should I, should I watch this? And they looked me dead in my comments, you know, because it's social media, so they couldn't look me in my eye. But they looked me dead in my comments. And they was like, yeah, sis, you're going to like it. It's going to be a plot twist at the end, you know. You, I enjoyed it, blah, blah, blah. And now I can't help but to look at all of them sideways for now and forever. Because the people who may I care a lot care very little about character development. They care very little about um, char uh, art, settings, plots. I don't know. They care very little about antagonist, protagonist situation that's supposed to good, evil, balance. And they care very, very little about the elderly. They really use old people in this movie as just like uh, to move the story along is that as if like old people aren't actual people and I think that's what really bothers me about the movie is what's missed is that old people elderly individuals are actual human beings who have worked their whole life for what they have so to use that in a way that takes the humanity away from them is sick like the mo the movie is sick. Okay, so let me just give you a quick rundown of the movie or whatever. So it's about a woman who runs this organization. She has like a doctor's office in her pocket and they write fake notes for her to say that somebody is unable to care for themselves. She takes that note to a judge and apparently you don't have to have the person present or a relative of theirs present to deem them unwell so that she then has legal guardianship over that individual and then she reaches out to her connect at an old folks home who she moves the old person out of their home into their facility she sells their home she seizes all their assets she takes over all their bank account because she's their guardian she moves the person into the old folks home the doctor gets paid the home gets paid she gets a huge payout because now she has the right to their bank accounts and everything their children their relatives basically have no rights. Um, and I don't know if this is a real thing, but I do know that there are absolute evils in our current healthcare system, especially in this country. So I can see this being an absolute real thing. Um, so basically, she's a bad guy. We don't know why she's a bad guy. We don't know why she lacks empathy. We don't know why she's a mega feminist, anti-men hating, crazy psycho we don't know they never tell us they never even bother to develop her enough as a character so that we can understand why she act like this um ultimately she the point of the movie is that she kidnaps this mafia guy's mom not knowing that the old lady has any children the mafia guy and her i'm just gonna skip past all the things that don't matter the mafia guy and her team up and so it's like one bad guy teams up with a, a smaller bad guy and they create this multi-billion dollar old people killing organization, right? Sick, sadness. And then one of the parents of the people she kidnaps or takes, I'm just say kidnaps, take kidnaps earlier in the film, comes and kills her. After she's already developed a multi-billion dollar organization. So for me, I got no, is the word reprieve? I got, there was no... Um, resolve because even though he kills her spoiler alert I'm sorry did I not say that even though he kills her at the end of the movie I just had to sit through two hours of her letting drugging up old people so that they die and then also you know that it's already a multi-billion dollar organization so even though she's dead the organization is not dead so I still just don't like, there's no sigh of relief in the movie, and that really doesn't sit well with me, okay? Um, I'm just curious to know if y'all saw it. 
I figured I had already talked about this on Facebook and I learned I could trust nobody on my Facebook. But I figured I would post on YouTube so that I, if somebody watches it, cool. Maybe we can talk about it in the comments. Um, but if nobody watches it, that's fine too because I look crazy. I look, cra I, I look a hot mess. All right. <laughs>